I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, America! Watching the news this morning, looking for good things to talk about our administration. Feeling guilty for disrespecting my elders. Hoping and praying that I cease, that I would see something good about the curse corrupt, compromised, bad President Joe Biden and his administration. Always taking the easy way out because, let's be honest here, the guy cannot speak, he cannot hold his balance, and it takes everything he's got to just walk. He, he takes everything for granted, he cannot hold a conversation, has to be led around like a puppet, it is embarrassing to watch. And it is elderly abuse, being allowed by our highest officials within our government. Shameful, America, it is. Are you serious? Is this all we have for leadership within our govern- with- in, within America? There is nothing good that this administration can offer us, or has offered us. As long as they have been in office, there has been no good outcome from this administration. I watched the curse crop compromised, bad President Joe Biden at the border. He got off the plane, shook some politicians' hands, and disappeared in an SUV. Biden is always taking the easy way out and never takes responsibility for anything except for spending the hard-earned American taxpayers' money and jeopardizing all our futures. Biden is always looking off into left field. Never looks anyone in the eye. Cannot focus on anything unless it's an ice cream cone. By the way, where is Hunter and Jill in all of this? Watching him with all the border agencies, never looking at any of them. Embarrassing and disrespectful. I call that elder abuse. Now we have Biden, the, mi Biden, the migrant crime president. Whenever you see Biden, all you ever see is his back walking away. This is a vicious violation to our country. What he's doing is absolutely unbelievable. Biden is supposed to be the protector of our homeland. The job all presidents have done before him. The fact that President, that President Biden went to the border, which was equivalent to a photo op, grandstanding at the most sanitized part of the border. 8.6 million potential soldiers walked across the border under the watchful eye of the FBI, CIA, DOJ, IRS, EPA, Homeland Security, and all of whom spending millions and millions of American taxpayers' money for the gross corrupt compromised President Joe Biden's lawlessness. Then I see Donald J. J. Trump in the one of the most busiest border crossings, walking the fence line with Governor Greg Abbott, talking about talking without a teleprompter about what must be done to protect our borders, looking everyone in the eye, shaking hands, not coughing into his hand, showing respect to all the agencies and law enforcement on the front lines. That is what a leader is supposed to do. Then, not only that, he locked eyes with the immigrants across the river at the border and waved, th waved them, showing respect. What a great example of a leader in the way it should be. Not once did he step into a buildy, building and close himself off to everyone. Another thing, whoever is the PR team for the cursed, corrupt, compromised President Joe Biden, they threw, they threw him under the bus today by having him travel to the border the same day as President Donald Trump did. Clearly, we can, see, we can all see who the leader was in that scenario. And then releasing his son Hunter Biden's de deposition on the Biden crime family the same day. What a joke, America. America, we need leadership. America, are you unhappy with the leadership we have now? Time for homework and chores for the win. Witness the arrogance of theme suits and our government making bad decisions for America. Falling feels like flying till you, hit the, till you hit the ground. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but wars will never hurt me. Until next time, until next time this is the kid, your next president. Thank you to all our military men and women, Customs and Border Patrol, all law enforcement across America. Thank you all for what you do every day. Keep the country we love safe and protected. My family and I appreciate you, and we salute you. Stick with soccer with pride with 605 and all American Build YouTube guys. God bless America. Let's go, Brandon. Have a nice day.
buy 